My name is Rafael Lopez and welcome to my studio. I'm very honored that our book Margaritas and my book uh, Bravo has been selected as one on the list of the Blue Bonnet. So this is the basic things of painting for me. This is my Mexican paintings. These are my paintings that I buy here at the art store. And then this is where I get all my mixed media. I have watercolors, I have paper that I cut out. So I do all these combination of things, you guys. And then I put it all together in the computer with a program called Photoshop. So uh, I used to be more traditional, but now I like the fun and the flexibility to try different things and experiment and you never know what happened. Which amazing Hispanic do you most identify with and why? I would have to say it's someone from the book. Actually, I am really, um, I admire um, Pura Belpré. Pura Belpré was this amazing person that came from this little tiny island in the, in the Caribbean and came to the big city of New York and she had the courage to say, hey, there's not enough of this bilingual education for some of these kids that are being left behind. She was speaking about me. She was speaking about Latinos and then about other forgotten people that needed to, to have the access to the library and to books and to knowledge. So she's a trailblazer that has really inspired many Hispanics, including me. Okay, question number four. What was your creative process like? My creative process is just a mess of everything, guys. You start with like super excited that you're gonna be working with someone with the talent of Margarita Engel. Continue by the panic of saying, oh my gosh, now what do I do? You know, what, where do I start? This is all, all you have is blank pages in front of you. But eventually everything has to start with that effort to put the pencil down and start sketching and start drawing. Once you do that, then you transfer all those drawings and send them to the editor and the art director and they share them with the author, in this case Margarita Engel. And once everybody likes what's, what's happening, then you then transfer all that into your studio. You bring it into the fun, messy part, which is the cutting the paper and the painting and the watercolors and the brushes and, and all the really fun, creative stuff that eventually makes the book come together. Well, you know, I can't say it any simpler than this, you guys, but you just gotta work hard. I know that sounds like, oh my God, I hear that from my parents all the time. But it's true, it's true, because you know what? It's not about working hard, because I don't consider what I do work. I consider what I do fun. You have to fall in love with what you do, and I fell in love with it when I went to school, and I realized that this is what I always wanted to be. I always wanted to be an illustrator. That's what I feel. I feel like you have to just work hard, and you're gonna run into different bumps along the road, but those are just like little tiny bumps, you guys. Just jump over them and keep going and just learn from them. And eventually, you will succeed and you will be happy with what you do.